Hi, everyone, and welcome to this first case of the 2022 Neuroradiology Board Review Brain Tumor Series. We're going to kick this off with uh, case number one, a 91-year-old with fatigue and confusion. Here you have some images from an MRI through the brain. It can sometimes be a little trouble on these, but you should practice going through, figuring out what kind of images you're looking at. This left one is a diffusion. This middle one is flare. We have a T2 on the right here. Let's take a look at those. Here we have now pre and post contrast images through the same area. So just start thinking about what your diagnosis might be, what the key features of this lesion are. So your question that you first should think about is what is your most likely diagnosis? So you should be able to think of a differential of one or two things, maybe have your top one uh, kind of on board to answer that question. Your question number two is which of these genetic markers is associated with the worst prognosis? So number one, you have to know what kind of tumor this is, and uh, then you have to figure out which of these is the most likely to have a bad prognosis. And so is it related to the IDH type, whether it's wild type or mutated, 1P19 q codeletion, or MGMT methylation? Now this was a case of glioblastoma. Now these are IDH wild type grade four astrocytomas. They're common in adults, uh, usually like in middle to later age. They've gotten rid of the phrase multiforme, uh, so it's not called multiforme, although many people continue to use the phrase GBM to talk about those. They have very poor survival, so a little bit more than a year, even with maximal therapy. Uh, you typically have an enhancing tumor in the center. It may have reduced diffusion, typically in the enhancing portions. You can have hemorrhage. You can have a lot of vessels and flow voids. The treatment of these is to resect as much of the enhancing component as possible and then give radiation to the remaining component. Uh, these patients get imaging follow-up about every three to six months after their treatment. Uh, so here you see, again, uh, you've got uh, diffusion. You've got some bright diffusion there. That's probably from some blood products, maybe a little bit of a rim of diffusion abnormality around the periphery, but mostly it's not a diffusion positive abnormality. Here on the flare, you see the lesion is extending into the corpus callosum. That's a classic for glioblastoma. So it's one of the two lesions that extends into the corpus callosum, the other being lymphoma. Here on T2, you see the cystic uh, necrotic degenerated areas with kind of a T2 dark rim and a lot of edema in the surrounding area. On your post-contrast images, what you have, or your pre-contrast, you see a pretty uh, heterogeneous but predominantly hypo-intense region, and you have peripheral enhancement with areas of central necrosis. So you have a necrotic tumor uh, that looks pretty aggressive. So you're thinking this must be a necrotic tumor and probably glioblastoma is top among the things that you might think. The other things that might cross your mind is, is this a, a metastatic focus? Lymphoma can look like this, but it's rare to have that much central necrosis. Now, when you're thinking about which genetic marker is associated with the worst prognosis in these patients, that's the IDH wild type. So these are the classic GBMs. They have a poor prognosis. IDH mutation is associated with lower grade astrocytomas and oligodendrogliomas. That has a better prognosis. 1P19Q codeletion is the uh, sort of key marker for oligodendrogliomas. And MGMT methylation is a marker of response to radiation. They also have a better prognosis. So these all have a better prognosis. And IDH wild type is the only one that has a worse prognosis. Thanks to everyone for tuning in for this video. Please be sure to like uh, the video and subscribe to the channel so you can see when new videos are going to come out. We're going to have 19 additional videos on brain tumors, so just be ready for those. Thanks for watching.